Welcome to the Makers Clean channel. My name is Melissa Maker. I'm the name behind Makers Clean and I'm also a cleaning expert. I've been running a cleaning business since 2006. And one of the things that I have noticed when we've been in people's homes and when I've been cleaning my own is that cupboard fronts get dirty whether it's obvious ketchup and jam splashes or fingerprints, or those fine, greasy fingerprints that seem nearly impossible to get rid of. Well, there are solutions for all of these, and I wanted to walk you through how you can keep these cupboard fronts clean and looking beautiful. Before we approach cleaning anything, we want to know what it is we're dealing with, whether it's an appliance or a finish or a piece of furniture. Cabinets are no different. You could have a wood cabinet, a laminate cabinet, and then you could, you know, you could have a wood cabinet that's not painted. Then you can have different types of finishes on the cabinet. All of that is going to contribute to how you need to tackle cleaning. Well, I know it sounds easy to grab something like a magic eraser to scrub all of the crap off your cabinets. I want you to stop and think twice. Magic erasers or other abrasive products or cleaning tools like heavy duty sponges or an abrasive cleanser can actually damage the finish of your cabinet, which is something you don't want. You'll have those permanent marks that really won't be able to get rid of. So when we're approaching our cabinets, we want to make sure that we're not using any abrasive products or tools. And the other thing we want to stay away from is anything that is a solvent. In other words, anything that can dissolve a finish like paint or varnish, because that's going to lead to an uneven finish on your surface. And frankly, something that is probably difficult or maybe not possible to repair. I always recommend to start with the simplest stuff and work your way up only as needed. That way you're not using anything overly harsh on a surface that could have done just fine with something much more basic. For general cleaning of your surface, you can use our basic all-purpose cleaner, two cups of water, a little squirt of dish soap, or a store-bought all-purpose cleaner that you have hanging around. To clean the exterior of your cabinets, you know, if there's like a little stain or mark there, you're just doing a general cleaning, this is how I would approach it. I would take a bottle of all-purpose cleaner and I would spray starting from the top, working my way to the bottom, and I'd work section by section. So this entire chunk of cabinets, I would do at once, both the top and the bottom. By the time I've done my spraying and maybe I've done one or two other things, about five minutes will have passed. That will be enough time for the all-purpose cleaner to sort of do its thing, work its way into any dirt, surface marks, etc. And then I can come back and give each cabinet a wipe down with a microfiber cloth using the S pattern, just working my way from the top to the bottom, making sure I get into all of the different grooves. Now, a couple of things you might wanna consider doing if you do have any grooves in your panel, you can use a cleaning toothbrush just to clean out any dirt, you know, grease, anything that's sort of built up. When I do heavy duty move in, move out cleans, that's often something that makes a really big difference. To clean the interior of your cabinets, it's pretty straightforward. In fact, you can use any of the products that we've already talked about to tackle the exact same issues inside. I will say if you have a steam cleaner, it is really easy to just blast some steam in there and give everything a good wipe. One thing I will recommend, particularly if it's a pantry or somewhere where there are lots of crackers and chips and nuts, you know where this is going, is to remove everything and then give it a really good vacuum using a vacuum with a brush attachment or even a little handheld broom just to sweep all of the schmutz out of there before you start wiping down. You might also notice that there are some stains or some slide marks from you know repeated motions of you like sliding cans out. If you do see that, something you might wanna consider is using some shelf liner. It's pretty inexpensive. And the nice thing is, is it preserves the surface inside your cabinet. And you can get kind of fancy with it and get, you know, pretty prints. You have fun with it, whatever you want. Now, the final thing I'll tell you about the interior cabinets is if you notice they're a little bit smelly, quick fix, just put a box of baking soda in there. It's actually a great trick for, you know, your spice cupboard or any area where you're storing anything that you know it might, might have a bit of an off smell. It's such an easy, inexpensive fix and it works like a charm. And now you know how to keep your cupboard fronts clean, shiny, and looking great. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which has to do with a cupboard most, if not all of us have in our kitchen, the spice cupboard or drawer. I don't discriminate. Let me know the last time you 
cleaned it out in the comments below. The average spice has a shelf life of six months, but even I can admit, like my powdered mustard, that's probably been in there for three, maybe four years at this point. So I'd love to know when the last time you took care of yours was in the comments down below. If you'd like to learn more about the Makers Clean products I was using in this video, you can visit our website, which is makersclean.com. I've also got a link for you down below. You can see all of our microfiber cleaning products and tools over there. Now, you already know how to clean your cupboards like a cleaning pro, but if you wanna know how to clean some of the other things around your house like a pro, you can check out this playlist right over here. And of course, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to the Makers Clean channel by clicking that button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.